Let's talk about recovery. Maybe you have someone in your life who's struggling with addiction. Maybe you personally struggle with an unmanageable problem with substances. Did you know that based on research currently that the brain takes 36 months to heal after the last time that you've used substances excessively? That doesn't mean an addiction. It means using a substance excessively. Now, we live in a society where a lot of information glorifies substance use. But let me tell you this. It doesn't matter if it's an excessive use of sugar or an excessive use of opioids, right, or an excessive use of alcohol. All of the things that you put into your body have a chemical reaction in your brain. And when you're utilizing things like alcohol, marijuana, opiates, fentanyl, you know, cocaine, any of these substances, they have an effect on the chemical makeup in your brain. And when you've used substances excessively, they alter the chemicals in your brain. And current research under the brain disease model shows that people need 36 months for their brain to completely heal after the last time that they've excessively used substances. Now here's a problem. Let's say in our society, somebody struggling with an unmanageable problem with substances, an addiction, all right? Let's say they seek treatment for that addiction. Treatment's wonderful, all right? We have places like detox centers where people can go and detox for 30 days. We have residential treatment centers. We have uh, outpatient treatment centers, intensive outpatient treatment centers where people can get significant treatment for their substance use. But the problem remains in our society that most treatment lasts up to 30, 60, or 90 days, which falls comparatively extremely short to the 36 months that people need for their brain to show marked improvement. And so this is one of the big reasons why I have been and always will be in my clinical practice a huge advocate for 12-step recovery support groups. Now, it's not everybody's cup of tea, and I'm sure there'll be people in the comments that, you know, they don't agree. They, they don't like 12-step recovery meetings. But I'll tell you this, all, with all the research considered on how the brain heals, how much time the brain needs to heal, and how much time is actually offered in our society for the treatment of substance use, 30, 60, 90 days, 12-step recovery groups are the only alternative, the only free option that, that clients have when seeking treatment to have long-term sobriety. And we know that when people go into 12-step groups versus not going into 12-step groups, the individuals who experience long-term sobriety dr drastically increases. The percentages drastically increase when they're attending 12-step recovery support groups consistently. So I want to just plant the seed here. Maybe you're a loved one who's looking into this because you have a son, a daughter, a, a, a husband, a wife, a, a mother, a father who's struggling with substances. I would just plant the seed here of 12-step recovery support groups as the answer because you can, you can send your loved one to treatment, and if it's severe, I really would recommend that you send them to treatment. You do need professional intervention. But on top of that professional intervention, we need to start pumping the experience of 12-step recovery into these individuals' lives because, well, you know, as a social scientist, that's what all of the evidence is showing is that people who seek treatment who then go into 12-step recovery support groups are staying sober long-term. And that's mostly because when you get the proper support by a community, through accountability and responsibility to yourself, you stand a much better chance of staying sober. But also on top of that, when you're around support networks of accountability, right, to sobriety, you're, you're going to have a lot more options at your disposal for treatment. And the big problem with treatment centers only lasting 30, 60, 90 days, sometimes a little bit longer, but most times shorter, is that the intervention runs out. Right, so that person leaves treatment after 90 days and there's no more treatment, right? Because most people can't afford it. Their insurance stops covering it and the costs of those treatment centers after insurance are extremely high. It's hard to find a place where the treatment is, uh, is affordable past the point of insurance covering it unless you have a lot of resources. And so we need an option. 
right, that can provide those treatment opportunities at a low cost? Well, let's try for free, all right? 12-step recovery support groups. I think it's, it's definitely the answer, but there are more brilliant minds than me that work on the research aspect of things and have presented the information to us that when an individual sticks with 12-step recovery support groups after treatment, their sobriety and recovery rates skyrocket. It's something like over 50% who stay in 12-step recovery groups past the five-year mark remain sober for 10, 20 years, you know? And again, those are rough numbers, right? But the point I'm really trying to make is that individuals typically who don't get some version of consistent 12-step recovery support or, or some version of consistent sobriety and recovery support outside of treatment, don't stay sober. And, and this brings us to a point of what we call in, in the clinical circles of recidivism, right? The individual goes in, leaves treatment, comes back, is in treatment, finishes treatment, leaves, relapses, comes back to treatment, and it goes round and round and round. And part of the reason is because people's brains aren't healing. They're not getting enough time in sobriety and so they're relapsing, all right? And a lot of it is behavioral, a lot of it is spiritual, a lot of it is the way that these individuals feel, but without the proper time frames for people to heal, we're probably not gonna see the improvements that we'd like. But what, what I'll share with you is that clinicians that I know, including myself, when 12-step recovery is a part of our intervention, the clients that we treat do better and they stay sober longer. Now, again, when it comes to recovery and long-term recovery for those struggling with substance use, the numbers aren't great as far as like who's gonna stay sober. And I wish that that weren't the case, but if we're just presenting facts, it's about one in 10 individuals who walk into a 12-step recovery group for sobriety stay in sobriety, one in 10, right? And part of that process is because our system operates the way it does. A t there's a ton more individuals, a way higher percentage of individuals who go to treatment centers than go to 12-step groups. So we would probably want to start to see a change in that. And, you know, 12, and, and treatment centers aren't lasting long enough. The, and, and you can't blame them because they, they, they've got to run a business, right? But insurance is only covering a certain amount and people can't afford what it would cost to run a treatment center but those places need to be open because well we need crisis intervention too so it's a bit of a bind the way that it's set up and there's no perfect solution but what i will say is that individuals who go to 12-step recovery support groups stand a better chance in the long run of staying sober so if your loved one listening to this or you're the individual struggling Alcoholics Anonymous, Narcotics Anonymous, Cocaine Anonymous, a 12-step recovery group for substance use is going to be a huge part of your answer. Now, I'm not here to tell you that that is your answer, and I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just here to present you with some of the clinical facts, and that is observable as clear as day. Those who engage with 12-step recovery support groups, they do better. They stay sober longer, and they find more peace and abundance in their life. So if you're listening to this and you're struggling, you're in distress, or you feel stressed, or you're struggling with your emotional well-being, reach out for therapy. Go on Google and type in therapists in my area and find a therapist to talk to. If you're struggling with an unmanageable problem with substances, like we've been talking about today, get yourself in a 12-step recovery support group. They're the ones that are going to lead you to sobriety and long-term recovery. If you're a loved one or a family or friend of an alcoholic or someone struggling with an unmanageable problem with substances, I encourage you to check out the program of Al-Anon. They will help you find the answers to a solution for how you're doing and how you're feeling. But those are just my thoughts. I'd love to hear more about your thoughts in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.